Now, it looks like I'm going to be using Old Spidey because I don't know where the new one is. Had him in last inside last night and uh, I don't know where he is now. Let's move on, shall we? Those green onions are topping out at... <laughs> They're trying to get, uh, they're three feet now, trying to get longer. I need to go cut one stalk because that's all I will need. So I'm going to go grab one stalk to harvest momentarily. Also going to get some tomatoes. Oh, that's right. Tomatoes. That's what I wanted to harvest some green tomatoes and send them to my family in the South. I know what you're saying. They're in the South. Shouldn't they have their own green tomatoes? <laughs> girl yes <laughs> but I got a I have a highfalutin sister that still got her cultural taste buds popping so I'm gonna go ahead and work with her because she she rides for me so I'm gonna make sure I ride for her as well matter of fact she has one of uh, I have another sister who grows in the same state neighboring town as her but I don't know if they share vegetables like that so and she seemed to really love and appreciate when I send her some, so that's what I'm going to do. See, that's when a cabbage worm gets to your shit. <laughs> that's what they do. That's what they do when they get to it. They eat that down to the nub, y'all. That's what you call uh, mayonnaise. When we say down to the nub, that's what we mean. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. Got a little snort in there. Okay. So I need to um, cut this outer leaves off. How many are there? Two. Uh, not really eat worthy, so I might throw, just toss them as I cut them. Jolly, again, eaten up by cabbage moss. I think I'm going to put that in some new soil. I need to grab me a stalk of mint for my water today. Here's Brynn again. I don't think she's getting much bigger. I think she might be ready. So I might harvest that one either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs> Gonna get some rose, some leaves from rose. Here's another bud ready to pop on Jasher. <laughs> Jolly. Hazel's grandbabies. Harvest some more of those outer leaves. None of these uh, peas are poking, peeking up. Snow pea plants, though, that I put in the back. Hazel, just as cute as she want to be. Unbothered, unbothered by pests. There's Candy doing her little thing. She's turning. I get, I'm getting now about probably two of those plush every day. I'm gonna get rid. I'm going to cut both of those tomatoes send them my lettuce bed salad bed rather uh, the purse lane is doing it this is concagua and i planted some string beans back here but cut worm boom just came out of nowhere so i'm gonna plant two more one here and one here it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm okay with it. Now this this should be red already. These should be turning red already, but they're not. This is as big as it gets. I need them to be red. Here are my kajaris. A lot of male flowers though. We'll see. It's doing what it does. These are the peas again. Uh, garlic and onions. That. That reminds me, I had a dream about garlic and me trying to grow garlic. I think I had a dream that I thought I didn't have any garlic, but I came out and the one that I harvested happened to be one full bulb. So I had <laughs> so I had my little garlic bowl. So I was about to cook and I needed garlic and thought I didn't have any. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Ooh, I hit it. Look. I 
I hit it in midair. Oh, it's moving. I'm going to put it out of its misery because I have to assume that I heard it because I saw the fluff fly. <laughs> but anyway, rest in peace. I'm sorry. I mean, not sorry. I mean, I am, but you know. Y'all know how it is with the animals and God's creatures and stuff. Um, Zen, uh, what did I call you? Bean, BB. I'm going to come harvest all of these lower leaves because they're get, turning yellow anyway. And... That's perfectly good seasoning. There's a table viola. She's not, not happy and voluptuous. <laughs> There's Sunny. Do we got any snacks today? Just one. I'm going to leave it. Might come harvest these sugar beets or green, greens again. Kalaloo's ready for a couple of leaves to come up. Just so I have always have fresh greens in the fridge to use in the meals. I'm ready for these first peppers to turn. I might go ahead and cut the bottom one just to encourage those other ones to get some size on it because you know how peppers sometimes do. Uh, and so far, the only one that has been good for harvesting as they ripen has been candy. Okay. I got my long bean climbing, but not a flower in sight. That's okay. We're going to see whatever. Ooh. I need to pull this because ain't nothing happening. Nothing happening. Okay. So I think what happened with this is that I let these two on the bottom go to full fruition. And it slowed down the productivity of the whole plant. With pea plants... What I realize I want to do is keep them, keep the bottom eight inches pruned. Oh, and Moringa, she's looking up. She's happy. But that's because it's not as hot. You know, it's kind of cooling off a little bit. It's August, you know, so it's cooling off for everything to really be able to produce in a comfortable environment. Oh, and a couple of things I just stuck over here. I string beans back there, tenderettes, because I'm trying to get rid of them anyway. And I think I'm going to put more in these. But in these, um, no, I might put purple sprout and broccoli in these. I put bran here and here. I don't know if they'll get any flowers, but they're taking root. I need to come out here and um, harvest a few string beans and direct sow some new ones see now is a good time to determine if any of these flowers were, were successfully pollinated and it doesn't feel like they were so I want to cut that whole flower end off but I don't know and did one come up over here I don't see one oh wait yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I need to come water these. And harvest a few. Do people eat this? Some people, but it's nasty. Right. We so, tried it. So then let me do what you asked me. I know how to... Okay. Got a separation. Okay. Mm <laughs> wow <laughs> and I'm going to come back and fill dirt in in that place I think this is a black one something came and ate all the outside leaves from it you have to get my technique <laughs> Mm-hmm.
That's what I do. I rock. I get it at the base and rock. What? Carrots on carrots. Wow. Two and two? Uh, three. You can get three from over here. I was moved. You know how I say you can tell by the shoulder? Uh, if the shoulder's orange. So I moved the, the dirt around so I could see the shoulder of that one. Okay. That's a regular size, wouldn't you say? Yeah. A little thicker. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ah, oh, boo! Then get another one. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know if it worked like that. <laughs> it might though. I don't see why it wouldn't really. But okay. How you gonna boo me? It's your little crap. I know my little crap. Forget you, hater. Okay. Little one. Go ahead and get the black one. Let me see. Look, I wonder what this root is from. Look at this root. Yeah, I saw that the cross one. Uh -huh. You gonna put it back? Wow. Okay. I'm gonna come back and put dirt around them. Back around. Them. Yeah, an experiment. Okay. Should have put it somewhere else. That's okay. Um, let me see what that black one look like. Mm, mm -mm, that one. Mm -hmm. Something came and ate the things off. So I'm guessing the things would have been bigger. Look like radish. A black. It's a black nebula. It's you sure you want to pull it? No. Oh, okay. No. Mm -mm. What we got there? Yeah. Okay. We can let the let the rest grow. Yeah, you did. Okay. It's a nice little bunch though, right? <laughs> Let's see. People know why I was wearing the gloves. Mm. Okay, starting in the wheel bed today. I know it's weird, but that's what I'm doing. There's nothing here in the soil too tough. I do have uh, as many callaloo plants as I'm gonna grow. They're just now starting to pop off and it is August y'all, August. I have only had one ream of fruit from this girl. This is my early girl, uh, Sunny. Uh, one ream, I'll call it, of tomatoes from cherry tomatoes from her. And you can see this is the second one that's ripening. She's picking up the pace. Glad to see it. These huge bad boys. Look how big that is. That's that's Spider Man up against that bad boy. That's two, this is one, and that, and behind it is another. Those are huge. I want them to go ahead and turn red so we can see what that thing tastes like, right? I like that she ripens early. I like that she's apparently prolific, but we're gonna see what she tastes like. Cause right now, Ajvarsky has my heart as my favorite sweet pepper. And um, I have yet to see Nardello. We're just gonna try, I think we're just gonna vaguely, I mean, try her this season. 
But look, y'all, yeah, so many, it's several peppers on her. My cucumbers are flowering well underneath, underneath her skirt. See what, what go up, them yellow panties look like. Yes. And there's a handful of fruit down there as well. Uh, my long bean is climbing. I have pinched off the top of her, one of her tips, just one, because, you know, I need her to do what she does, whatever that is. She needs to get to work. Uh, my Moringa is come getting it herself together here. Again, very late in the season. It's August. And this shows me that next season I will be planting her over here. Her, she, that, we, and. <laughs> so I'll probably have a, two, if not three, Moringa trees lined up along uh, the 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 house and i'll just pull them up every y'all have three moringa trees and pull all three of them hoes up and have different things growing in front of it maybe use them as a uh trellis for our long beans who knows but yeah these are my red potted long beans and back in the back i have a she trying to go everywhere and i also have a wing bean back there that I hope is climbing on something. I hope she is. I'm not getting back in that corner to see what's, what's good back there. Uh, yeah, here's uh, another uh, long bean here. And my Moringa that's, that's very happy over here. Another one, long bean. I need to move her. That's Callie. Cali. Uh, Advarsky. Uh, a Concagua. Did I ever tell you what it was? No. And bars. And this, I think, is Buffy. I don't really like the way she's growing for me what, in the pot or in the ground. So she might not get no love next year. I do like that she's more prolific than Brandy, but Brandy definitely has bigger fruit. So I'm really interested in having the largest fried green tomatoes possible. Slice of fried. Slice of fried green tomatoes. <laughs> Let's pull this, cause just because I feel like flexing. Oh, look what happened. I accidentally planted this, and it's right next to each other. This is a green string bean, and this is a snow pea. Did, I think I planted another snow pea around there. I don't know. Shit's weird over, weird over here this year. I'm not really getting a voluptuous season. But next year, next year. Because my plans are to grow the string beans around the perimeter rather than the carrots next year and then grow the carrots in the middle. Let's harvest one just because I feel like flexing. This is big juicy. I know this is a big juicy. I know it's ready. I know it's ready. You is juicy. Juicy. God, I'm crazy. God, I'm crazy. Rock. Grab it by the base of the ponytail and rock it a little bit. Just rock her, rock her world, and then start pulling as you rock. Okay, 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 okay. That bitch is deep. Okay, there we go. Here we go. <sighs> oh, shit. What I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? <sighs> that bitch is thick. Oh, she thick. Look at this. That's an inch and a half diameter. <laughs> oh, shit. And, uh, well, I'm only going to pull this one, I guess. Let Mr. pull the others. Ooh. I'll let him pull about five of them. 
My God. Look how big and juicy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, self, now you just showing out. You just showing out now. Oh, I meant to get this other. Let me get this uh, soil cup and refill that plug. Plug up with soil.